So I'm having two cups of yellow cherry tomatoes and two cups of red cherry tomatoes for my pasta panza. It's like a tomato gratin that is baked in the oven and then tossed with ziti pasta. And then some tangy capers, some full-bodied, you know, really sharp Pecorino Romano cheese, and then this nice crispy crumble topping on top, which is really good. So I've already buttered my eight by eight baking dish, just so the tomatoes don't stick to the bottom. And we can get it out nicely and easily. And we wanna season it with some salt. A little salt, a little pepper, all over the top there. Now, a friend of my Aunt Raffi's has a house in Ponza, and she's actually the one that first made this for us. So Raffi and I named it Pasta Ponza, just because she made it there. And she grows a lot of tomatoes on her terrace. And I love making this all year round, especially because it's so easy to make. Pop it in the oven, cook up some pasta, toss it all together, and you're done. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And see just the colors on their own. With the tangy capers inside, every bite is succulent and juicy. Make sure that you get a nice even layer of all the tomatoes. And to get that nice crispy kind of crumble on top, I take a half a cup of store-bought seasoned breadcrumbs and I just sprinkle it right on top. Although it looks like it's a lot of breadcrumbs, the tomatoes kind of suck it up and then it becomes nice and crispy on top. Just like that. And I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right over the top. So we're gonna bake it at 375 degrees for 30 minutes until we get a nice golden crust on top. I need the Pecorino Romano. I love this cheese. It's a little bit saltier than Parmesan cheese, but it's also a little bit um, softer too, and butterier. So we need one and a quarter cups. Okay. Just gonna move this right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss the cheese with the cooked ziti before we add the tomatoes to it. So now that the water is boiling, you wanna season the pasta, get it nice and flavorful. And remember, this is where the seasoning starts, in the water. So you wanna add a nice handful of salt and really get that pasta well seasoned. And today I'm gonna use these ziti. Now ziti, they look very similar to penne and they're a little too pasta and they have these little lines right on them so that the sauce sticks to the pasta. So we're gonna throw this in here. There we go. And then give it a quick little stir. The pasta is gonna take about eight to 10 minutes to cook. So my pasta is al dente and the first thing I wanna do is add the pecorino romano that I grated earlier. Look at that, ooh, they smell so good and they have a nice golden crust on top. And just kind of toss them right in there. So we just wanna give it a nice toss. Oh. Now to finish it all off, some flat leaf Italian parsley that we chopped earlier. Give it a little color, a little freshness. And look how beautiful that looks. You can't beat this.